Hi, this is Young Franco. I'm here with Block FM. You turn and face me. Maybe this time I'll choose. So, is this your first time in Japan? And what are you looking forward to most for this weekend? This is my second time in Japan. And、um, the first time I was with my family. So, it's more exciting to go by yourself and kind of experience things more as an adult.、Um, Yeah, I've, I've never played in Asia before, so I'm excited to actually kind of see what people are into and see if kind of, you know, I've never seen DJ Falcon play,、um, so I'm pretty excited for that too. I really love your mixes. So, who are your,、um, some of your musical influences? I think I get a lot of, it changes every day, but I, I, I've been listening to like, you know, big guys like Disclosure and k e i t r o n a d a and Pomo and all those guys, and I've been lucky to meet a few of them. So, But it's also, I think, Australia, people look to Australia for everything. So the music there is amazing. And, you know, we get, people are kind of looking into Australia to see what's next and what's new and exciting. So it's, I'm, I think I'm lucky to be in, in that scene because it's quite, you know, diverse too. So that's also another one of our questions. We want, you know, Australia is so advanced in the music scene. And we wanted to ask, you know, what you think of it compared to other places as well.、Mm. Well, I think the good thing with Australia is everyone, everyone kind of, even though it's a community, everyone kind of does, no one's trying to copy the, each other. Like, no one's trying to sound like the chain smokers or no one's trying to sound like the next EDM thing. It's like, it's quite diverse. Like, you know, a Hayden James track doesn't sound like a Young Franco track or, you know, you know a Young Franco track doesn't sound like a, a Flume track or whatever. So that's what I like about it is I've, you know, I've gone to different places and everyone sounds the same. Like, everyone's trying to be the next. You know, the next whatever their, their particular scene is. So it's, it's quite diverse, and people are kind of, you know, welcoming of that, I think. Yeah.、Um, your sound from your first EP and your most recent Miss You are very, very different,、um, but has always remained centered around house. How would you describe your own genre? As I've kind of grown as a person, I think my sound has grown, and I've always tried to try new things and try. Th- and、um, I think over the past few years, I've really honed into what I want to do and what I want to. How I want to sound. So I don't really have a genre, but I think I like always, you know, I love jazz music and I love, you know, soul and anything that's, you know, has nice chords, I kind of like. So yeah. That's also another one of our questions. <laughs>、um, you know, we've, we were wondering if you have a background in jazz. No, I,、um, I used to play trumpet. It wasn't very good. <laughs> but I really, I really liked it.、Um, I, just ne- I never learned it properly, but I, I was always inspired by it. And you know, I, I listened to it enough that I know what I like. So I think that's where I kind of get those influences. A lot of the music that you've released have a lot of vocalists included. What is the process, you know, writing music together? It's different every time. I think,、um, you know, some, some people I've never actually met in person. Like, I, I haven't met,、um, there's a song I did called Drop Your Love, and I haven't met the guys called Dirty Radio, even though I've Skyped them, like, you know, all the time. And, you know, other ones I've been in the studio with and written with the person. And I think it just varies. Like, you know, the internet is so good. and... Collaborating is so much easier now, and you can bounce ideas back and forth easier. So it's just different every time. And you recently just finished off, I think, a headlining tour.、Um, how has the reaction been to that? I recently did a Europe tour, and before that was Australia. So, and Europe was with Kitsune, and that was it was heaps of fun. Like, I've, I went to three countries I've never been to, and The crowds were amazing, and going, going everywhere and experiencing these different cultures is kind of what I like, like the most. And、um, each show, I, I wasn't expecting people to kind of sing back, but there w a s quite a few people that were, knew the songs or at least have heard of it or whatever. And I also got a, new, a, a lot of new fans from it, I think, or at least people I've, you know, and just meeting people, it was, it was so much fun. Any new releases that we can look forward to? Well, I'm working on them now, and I'm just trying to like. Get everything together. But I'm just working on like an EP and like the first single for that and the second single and then just see how it goes. And lastly, can we get a shout out for our Japanese listeners? Shout out to Japanese listeners <laughs> and all listeners around the world. Thank you so much.、Um, my name is Young Franco、um, and that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>